Good morning everyone and welcome to the central province of Sri Lanka. So today we are in a city called Batikol and a few of Tal's followers have actually hooked us up with some adventures around this city. So we're going to check out what there is to do and I think this morning we're starting off on a little canoe trip on the lagoon and then we're going to see what else Batikol has to offer. So you ready mate? Let's hit it. Let's do it. We're now entering the Dutch fort of Bataclau, so this was built way back in 1682. So it is breakfast time, so because we had a, such an early morning and we've been doing so much this morning, we've come to this place now. So these guys said this is one of the best places to eat in Batiklaus, so we're going to get ourselves some breakfast. This is one of my favourite meals to have is masala dosa. So it's sort of just like a big... It kind of looks like a big giant pancake, but it's got like potato and curry mix on the inside, and you get all these sauces to mix it's along with it. What's the name of this island again? Nasi Vantivu. Nasi Vantivu. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Very privileged. Yeah, very <laughs> Sweet. We just made it to the island. <laughs> oh, thank you. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> just filming each other with flowers. I've never been flowers So we've come 30 minutes north of Batukal and we've come to this place, Nasi Bativa, and we have been greeted with flowers and everything. So we're going to be heading out soon on the canoe where they're going to show us how they fish and we're going to be heading out to some of the islands. Tal and I are the first guests to actually go on this trip and that's why they greeted us with all the flowers. Um, I've now switched to GoPro because we'll be going on this little canoe right here. So I don't really want to get my other camera wet. This is the boat we're boarding here. <laughs> Look at the little roof made for it. So apparently we can fit nine of this. Nine? Yeah, <laughs> nine people. So, I'll be interested to see how we all squeeze in. Alright, here we go. <laughs> it's huge. There we go, we're off. How many have we got? One, two, three. 
How is this thing floating? I don't know. It's like barely in the water. It's like just, just sinking in. And we're off. So just around the mangroves here, they have like heaps of fishing nets just going around here. But we just checked it out and there's no fish at the moment. But I think we're just going to be going from island to island. Oh, hey. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, look at that big bag of clams. Whoa. Jeez. That's a lot of clams. Jesus. Whoa. Heavy? Yeah. How, long, how long does it take to get that much? So we collect, we collect these each by hand, each one by hand. Wow. So the locals around here are just wow. digging around for these clams. So they've got a huge, they've collected a huge bag at the moment. But you boil this in water and the clams like open up where you get all the meat inside. I've had something fairly similar, but I think we're gonna try this later down the track. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Give that clam shout. Hey, There he goes. <laughs> right, so we got another local fisherman around here. Apparently the net's at the very bottom of the water and he just dives down and grabs it himself. Watch it, he'll, he'll pop up somewhere. Here comes he, can, he, can, he can stay down for a long time. We never know where he pops up, but he just pops up. Uh, that's it. Oh, is he? He's gone in. <laughs> he's still down. He's still down. When is yeah, he coming like, up? He's just diving. It's crazy yeah. how long he's underwater. He's just chilling down there. Probably been a good 40 seconds now. <laughs> Maximum lung spell, huh? Yeah, yeah. wow. Oh, oh, there he is. <laughs> Where is he? Right hey, hello. Hello. Whoa. All right, so this is their catching here at the moment. So we've got some catfish. we got little baby catfish eggs. How tiny is this? That is freaking crazy. Oh, I missed it. Right. You it? Yeah. <laughs> so I have a better understanding of this guy's style of fishing now. So it is just a normal cast net, but instead of casting it in the water and pulling it up with a string like a normal cast net, he actually just casts it in, let it completely sink to the bottom and trap all the fish. Then he just keeps diving down and pulling out the fish from the cast net. So he's really going out of his way to get them. Pop him right back over there. <laughs> That's a press of fish right there. So we just got some freshly caught mud crab from the crab pots. We got three in the pot here. They have a system to catch this crab. Whoa. That's a big pincer right there. <laughs> Bam! Get your toes. <laughs> So this is how he's tied it up. So he managed to tie it up so well that it won't be able to nip you. And this right here is gonna be our fresh lunch. Oh, coconut. <laughs> we, we try to eat go. a coconut every day. We're, we're doing pretty good so far. Yeah. We've been having a coconut every day so far. For you, my boy. Oh, thank you, my man. <laughs> All right, so we got ourselves some nice, Ooh. fresh king coconut juice. Oh, mm. Hit me up with that good. Oh, it's got like a bit of lime in it too. Cheers, brother. Cheers, mate. All right, so we're taking this little sketchy boat, white water rafting, right through this little entrance right here. I don't know how it's gonna hold up, but we're going. Here we go. We've got this. All right. Three, two, one. Here we go. Whee! <laughs> oh wow, we're moving. Oh, oh, I got splashed. Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah! <laughs> the old mate over here is getting ready to go diving for some oysters along the rocks here. Oh yeah, wow! They are proper goggles, those ones. <laughs> and there we go. Oh, he's going to crack it up. Alright, so we're out here getting nice freshly caught oysters and no one else is game enough well Tal's not game enough to eat it so it looks <laughs> like I'm eating it look at that uh. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> That's oysters are huge. <laughs> that looks like a deformed tongue. That's gonna be so cool. So we found this boat on the rocks just up here. So apparently this just washed up on the rocks a while ago during the floods. We're gonna see if we can get inside it. In we go. Uh, right, we are in the boat. So, this is like the engine room here. Looks like they took out the whole engine. We don't know how oh my God. stable this boat is. This is so cool. <laughs> oh. It's not a huge slant. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> The ground here yeah, doesn't feel that sturdy. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Australia. Hey! Australian boat. There we go. Oh, this is an Australian boat. Yeah. How's it feel down there? There you go. Pretty secure? Yeah, it's a lot better here. There we go. What do we got here? What oh, is this? I'm slipping. Name Kolkata. Yeah. More than Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just sitting on a broken ship. <laughs> we were delivering right. some sweets. So, this is where we have lunch right now. Just up on the ship. What is, I don't even know what this is. Mm. Mm. Wow, that's sweet. Yeah. That's really good. Look at this. No idea what we're eating. What? An awesome place to have lunch. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Thank you, Nandri. <laughs> Very <laughs> 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 well, good. So we've just come onto this island now where we're gonna have lunch and the locals here have gone all out of their way just to prepare a big feed for us. Us two. And we're just we're gonna be eating the fish and crabs we caught today. Look at this setup. How <laughs> spoiled are we? <laughs> Oh yeah, look at that. That looks so good. Is this fish? 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 Or oh, it's like a fish curry. So you break off the legs? Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's just like that. You rip off the top. Whoa. Oh. And there he goes. Wow. Oh, it's still alive. So we also got some fresh prawns here as well. I'm actually surprised how big the prawns are around here. So like, these are the same size prawns we catch back at home. These ones here are called tiger prawns. I don't know if they're called something different here, but yeah, looks very fresh and good. At the moment they're cooking up a huge pot of clams. So these are some of the clams that they collected today. And look how good it looks. So this is in like coconut milk and oil. Oh. And this one little pot here is probably hours work, worth of hard work to collect. That is looking delicious. Alright, time to load up the crabs. Oh, that is fresh as fresh. Mm, Alright, so it looks like food is prepped and ready to eat, so let's dig in. Each get one of these bamboo plates full of rice, and then we have our selection of food. Oh, so this is a crab. Freshly cooked crab. Oyster. I might get a bit of claw actually. Oh, nice. Oyster in there. What was this one? This is a fish? Drumstick leaves. Dr drumstick leaves. Ooh, yummy. There you go. It's coconut in here? What were these ones? Are these the clams? Oh, oysters. Oysters. So we got the oysters. And then we got the big what is it? bowl is this the big of clams. Crab? What is this? Oh, is this no, fish? that's the fish. Ooh, fish. Wow, these clams look amazing. Fish. Ooh, this kind of looks Israeli right here. I kind of like this. This looks like Moroccan fish we're making it Some fresh prawns. Put some like, curry sauce on there. This is such a good buffet. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Can you pay me a crab? Crab? Wow, more, more of this. That's some of the crab. Oh, this is like deep fried oysters. There you go. Some of that on there. Oh my god, there's so much. 
And then what, what kind of crab? <laughs> Such a big selection. Should I take, take this? Take that one here. This one? What, what's this one? This, uh, um, that's a drumstick leaves. Drumstick leaves? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh nice. my lord. Look at this plate there of seafood. There we go. It's more seafood than I've ever had in my entire life, I think. How good is this platter? Let's eat up. All right, so now that the locals have fed us an amazing lunch, they are going to put on a little show for us and do a local dance. <laughs> Man's got some moves. <laughs> there you go, ladies and gentlemen. What an amazing show that was. Now we're saying farewell to the best Nandy. local experience ever. Farewell everyone, thank you so much bye. for the experience. It has bye. been bye. so bye. amazing. Bye. These guys bye. have fed us, have put on a show on this private little island here. And this is hands down the best local experience we've had in all of Sri Lanka now. This has just been the best experience ever. And now we're back going onto the boat and heading off to our next destination. As if we didn't get fed enough at the other place, we're getting fed even more food here. So what do we have here? What is this? Wow. Is that like a dessert? That other one? What is that? That's a milk hopper. Milk hopper? I've never had that. That's, that's interesting. Right, so we've had such an insanely big day today. It is 7 p.m. now. We've had like a 13 hour day. We just got back to our resort like we haven't even seen our resort during the daytime yet, but we're just walking around now to see what's around here. And this, check out this pool. Like we have an insanely huge pool around here, right beside the lagoon. And apparently someone was saying that crocs have actually walked from the lagoon into this pool. We're just doing a quick crop check, but it looks pretty good. But no better way to end the day than going for a nice swim in the pool. Wow, what a day it has been today. So towards the end of the night, we actually met up with the people that have been showing us around for the whole entire day, who they work with. And it was actually an Australian guy. So apparently the Australian government is funding the... Eastern province of Sri Lanka for tourism, which is really, really interesting. And like we were talking to this Australian guy and his plans for the future to boost tourism throughout Sri Lanka. And like, it sounds amazing. Like just because of the bombings they had prior in April this year, like we have, like everywhere we've traveled around Sri Lanka, we can see the effects it has had on tourism. And Personally, Sri Lanka is one of my favorite countries I've been to. Like it is way up there for one of my favorite countries. And it is insane like that the tourism is complete, well, not completely dead, but very quiet here. And I can see that um, the Australian government is trying to help out and they're trying to boost the tourism. The experiences we had today in Batiklao was hands down the best local experience we had. Like. Coming from a fishing background, it was so awesome to just experience how the locals fished their way. And then we ended up having completely fresh seafood that was caught there and then. A tiny little island where all the locals greeted us. And they explained to us that we were the first ever foreigners they have seen. And it was just like eye-opening to see that. And they, they're trying to sort of boost the tourism around the east coast of Sri Lanka because like when you think of Sri Lanka, everyone just goes to the same main tourist spots. But on the east coast, there is so much to offer and I really, really want to get it out there 
that this is such a beautiful place. Batty Clow is an amazing area and like areas that I have been to today I would never thought to have experienced and it has been some of the best experiences I've had just because we have such a good connection with the locals. Um, but yeah, I really hope anyone thinking of visiting Sri Lanka, please check out these areas. Do not miss it because trust me, you will fall in love with it. And I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and thanks for watching. Follow your dreams, escape your comfort zone, and I will see you on another venture throughout Sri Lanka. Bye.